Hello, I'm Ken Johnson, and welcome to the New Hope Reads Ministry. We hope you will visit daily as we read from the Chronological Bible. May our time spent together in God's Word be a blessing to us all as God reveals Himself and His nature, as He opens our minds, and as He prepares our hearts for our good and His service. Again, thank you for joining us. February 15th, Offerings of Dedications, um, Numbers 7, 1 to 89. On the day Moses set up the tabernacle, he anointed it and set it apart as holy. He also anointed and set apart all its furnishings and the altar with its utensils. Then the leaders of Israel, the tribal leaders who had registered the troops, came in and brought their offerings. Together they brought six large wagons and twelve oxen. There was a wagon for every two leaders and an ox for each leader. They presented these to the Lord in front of the tabernacle. Then the Lord said to Moses, Receive their gifts and use these oxen and wagons for transporting the tabernacle. Distribute them among the Levites according to the work they have to do. So Moses took the wagons and oxen and presented them to the Levites. He gave two wagons and four oxen to the Gershonite division for their work, and he gave four wagons and eight oxen to the Merarite division for their work. All their work was done under the leadership of Ithamar, of Ar of Aaron, son of Aaron the priest, but he gave none of the wagons or oxen to the Kohathite division since they were required to carry the sacred objects of the tabernacle on their shoulders. The leader also presented dedication gifts for the altar at the time it was anointed. They each placed their gifts before the altar. The Lord said to Moses, let one leader bring his gift each day for the dedication of the altar. On the first day, Nashon of Abinadab, leader of the tribe of Judah, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarters pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Nation, the son of Abimadab. On the second day, Nathaniel, son of Nuar, leader of the tribe of Issachar, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarters pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Nathaniel, son of Zuar. On the third day, Eliab, son of Helion, leader of the tribe of Zebulun, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and one quarter pounds, and a silver basin weigh, weighing one and three quarter pounds, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour mo moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. 
This was the offering brought by Eliab, son of Helon. On the fourth day, Eliezer, son of Shidur, leader of the tribe of Reuben, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and one quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a golden container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For the peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Elijah, son of Shedur. On the fifth day, Shalumiel, son of Jerishadai, leader of the tribe of Simeon, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering and a male goat for a sin offering. For peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Shalmulil, son of Jurashadai. On the sixth day, Eliasaph, son of Duel, leader of the tribe of Gad, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds, and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Eliasaph, son of Duo. On the seventh day, Elishama, son of Amahud, leader of the tribe of Ephraim, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Elishama, son of Amihud. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, son of Padashur, leader of the tribe of Manasseh, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour, moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Gamaliel, son of Padashur. On the ninth day, Abidon, son of Gideoni, leader of the tribe of Benjamin, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, 
and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Abaddon, son of Gideonai. On the tenth day, Ahiezer, son of Amashaddai, leader of the tribe of Dan, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Ahiezer, son of Ashimadai. On the eleventh day, Pajil, son of Ukran, the leader of the tribe of Asher, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. <clears throat> he also <clears throat> brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, <clears throat> and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Pagiel, son of Okran. On the twelfth day, Ahira, son of Enan, leader of the tribe of Natali, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds <clears throat> and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a, a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, <clears throat> and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Ahira, son of Enon. So this was the dedication offering brought by the leaders of Israel at the time the altar was anointed. Twelve silver platters, twelve silver basins, twelve gold incense containers. Each silver platter weighed three and a quarter pounds, and each silver basin weighed one and three quarter pounds. The total weight of the silver was 60 pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. Each of the 12 gold containers that was filled with incense weighed 4 ounces as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. The total weight of the gold <clears throat> was 3 pounds. 12 young bulls, 12 rams, 12 one-year-old male lambs were donated for the burnt offerings along with their prescribed grain offerings. Twelve male goats were brought for the sins offerings. Twenty-four bulls, six rams, sixty male goats, and sixty-one-year-old male lambs were donated for the peace offerings. This was the dedication offering for the altar after it was anointed. When Moses went into the tabernacle to speak with the Lord, he heard the voice speaking to him from between the two cherubim above the ark's cover, the place of atonement that rests on the Ark of the Covenant. The Lord spoke to him from there. Hi there, and welcome to New Hope Reads. I'm Mark Roof, and we are delighted that you've joined us to share in the reading of God's Word. It's very important that we share this together and be in God's Word daily. And by the way, we'd like to invite you to join us here at New Hope Church of Christ anytime you get a chance. Sunday mornings, we have classes at 9.30, we have worship at 10.30, and you can join us live or online. Have a blessed day.